Chapter 2, Fundamentals, Part 5, Binary and Beyond. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The 10 digits are used to count and calculate numbers in our world. However, there exists a world where the number system only uses two digits, 0 and 1. Can you imagine a world where only two digits are available? Eight digits? 16? This is the world of computers. Let's see how this works. Binary. Computers run on binary number system, which two digits, zeros and ones, are used to represent data. Why two, not 10? Well, a computer is basically circuits and wires with electricity flowing through them. Electrical signals can have two states, on, off, or one, zero. This is the basic unit of data representation. How would you count to 10 if you only have two numbers, zero and one? Let's try counting in binaries. Zero, one, one zero, one one, one zero zero, one zero one, one one zero, one one one, one zero zero zero. Mr. Sloth can only count in binaries using numbers zero and one because that is all he can afford with his two toes while hanging on a tree. Hey, Mr. Sloth, how old are you? I am one zero one zero zero one months old. How old is that in decimal or in base 10 numbers? Let's figure it out. There are six places in the number 101001. Step one, write it out. Two, then on top of each number, put binary places starting from the very right. Two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four, and two to the five. Step three, multiply the place value with the binary digit to get the actual value of each place. Step four, then add them all up. Mr. Sloth is 41 months old. Octal. Octal is two to the power of three. It can pack in more binary data into each number. In octal system, you're given eight numbers from zero to seven. Let's try counting. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, zero. Hi, Mrs. Spider, how many children do you have? I have 2061 children. How many is that? Mrs. Spider can count using numbers 0 to 7. Let's see what 2061 is in base 10 or decimals. First, lay out the octal number 2061. 2. On top of each number, put the place value from rightmost place. Put 8 to the 0, 8 to the 1, 8 to the 2, 8 to the 3. Step 3. Multiply the place value with the octal digit to get the actual value of each place. Step four, add them all up. That is 1,073 children, wow. Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal, or base 16, is a number system of two to the power of four. You can pack in more binary data in there than octal. When counting hexadecimal numbers, we need to get a little creative. We don't have a single place representation from numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So hex numbers from 10 on, we use alphabet letters instead. 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. Hi, sir. How many aliens in your spaceship? There are three A, B. How many is that? This alien uses a hexadecimal system. Let's see what 3AB is in base 10, or decimals. Step one, lay out each number, 3A and B. Two, then put the place value on top of each hex number. From very right, it is 16 to the zero, 16 to the one, 16 to the two. Three, multiply the places with its hex numbers. Four, add them all up. There are 939 aliens in the spaceship. How are these numbers actually used? Let's look at some examples. ASCII code. 
computers speak in numbers. Then, how is text, image, music, and other forms of data stored? These data have numbers assigned to it. Let's take a look at ASCII code to understand how text is represented using binary numbers. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Eight binary digits, or eight bits, are assigned to each symbol in the character set. What does this say? Let's look it up in the ASCII code table. Binary number 01000111 is uppercase G. 01101111 is lowercase O. The word is go. Hex color. Zoom into a digital image and you'll see a tiny square called a pixel. Pixels have colors. Monitors and screens that emit light mixes red, green, and blue lights, or RGB, to create colors. These colors can be written in numbers. Each R, G, and B gets two places of hexadecimal numbers. Each place can range from 0 to F. And since each color gets two places, R in decimal value ranges from 0 to 255. And this goes for G and B also. Let's look at some examples. Color black emits no light. Therefore, all values must be zero. Next, color white emits full light. So all values are at its highest, which in hex value is FFFFFF. What about green? Leave red and blue at zero and green at its fullest. And this will give you this bright green. The hex value is 00FF00. This is how over 16 million colors are represented on digital devices. Amazing. <laughs>